So our 330,000 mile LML dually, our tow pig truck, the one we use to pull our trailer and our trucks to events, has finally let us down with a 003A code. So P003A, meaning the turbocharger is not moving the way it should. It's an intermittent code on the truck, but it's becoming more and more consistent. And so I had the guys pull the turbocharger off the truck. I have the turbocharger behind me here on our test bench and we're gonna run it and see if the veins are indeed moving. So we have a pressurized oil system with heated oil and a electronic control system that we use to bench test every turbocharger that we build here. We're gonna test this turbocharger, show you if it's working or not and how bad it's messed up. And then we're gonna put on the Mach 1, which I'm excited to get on the truck and show you how it's supposed to move. So how the veins are supposed to actuate. Uh, from there, we'll tear the turbocharger down and see what caused the problems. I haven't been in there yet, so I'm kind of excited to see what kind of gremlins we have. Let's do it. So this tester runs the veins, uh, sweeps them from zero to 100%. Zero percent would be the veins fully open, which would be a voltage near zero. 100% would be veins fully closed or turbine braking, which would be a voltage around four volts. So that's what we're looking for is a zero to four volt sweep. It appears we have a turbocharger that's not sweeping. Stuck near four volts, so we're stuck near fully closed. Looks like we're stuck in the low 90s as far as vein percentage. That's a smoking gun right there. The turbo is not sweeping the veins with oil pressure. Okay, so we had Chuck break the exhaust housing off. Remember, we're looking for a 003A. That means that the unison ring is either not making it to zero or to 100. We saw in the bench tester that it was stuck. Chuck saw it was definitely stuck. Took a lot of manual manipulation to get that nozzle ring to free up, that unison ring to free up. A lot of corrosion in there, a lot of rust. The truck sits outside a lot and for long extended periods of time, which probably contributed to the rust buildup in the cast iron parts. And I think that's what really got us in this situation. From here, this turbo needs to be rebuilt, sandblasted, cleaned up, or you're gonna to continue to have those issues. It's not something you can really fix on the truck, unfortunately, and it's not gonna last if you do. We're gonna put our Stealth 64, our Mach 1 LML charger on the truck and rock and roll from here. Looking forward to that. New turbocharger is in. I'm excited to use the truck. Generally, we use this truck to gooseneck tow. So I got the big tractor that we tow with it, a couple trucks going sled pulling. It tows a lot of weight. So we use it for heavy weight and we also run a big tune in it. I got built trans in it. I got kind of a heavy foot with it. I'll be honest with you. I like to use the power. The truck's fun to drive. So I wanted to put a charger in that would kind of, you know, meet me there. That's why I went with the Mach 1. So the Mach 1 is going to be good for the high 30s for boost. We're going to be 500 plus horsepower controlling EGTs while towing best we can. Uh, lightweight rotating assembly. This should be a very fun truck to drive. If you enjoyed this one, like it or comment. If you want to see more content like this, we'd love to do it. If you have any questions, give us a call. 815-568-7920. This is a lot of the kind of work we do in the shop here. We see this kind of thing all the time. So happy to help out and uh, you know work with you in your situation. I'm Nick. Thanks for watching. Thank you.